welcome back to the channel. I know before you even say it, it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. I've just been so busy with work and the weather's been so nasty. It's just put me in kind of a slump that I couldn't really think of content ideas and I don't like boring you guys with videos you don't want to watch. I'm sorry if it's the background noise is loud. This road sucks and I've got the Cummins loaded down with tools so it's a little noisy but if you guys have any ideas uh, as to what you want to see or content ideas please drop a comment down below. I could really use some ideas right now and I miss making videos for you guys so any ideas at all I'm open to them whether it be a Cummins walk around or if you've got uh, any like mod ideas you want to see let me know or if you want to see like my buddy's trucks or other style trucks cars let me know drop a comment down below I'll do whatever I can to bring you guys content I just really need some ideas right now if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button stick around for a while when summer starts coming in we're gonna have a hell of a time it's gonna be a full-blown party and you're not gonna to want to miss it so smash the subscribe button help a brother out all you gotta do is hang out, watch a couple dumb videos, and that's, that's basically it. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is actually gonna be an install on the Cummins. I've been waiting a very long time to do this, and I don't know why, because it's really not an expensive mod. I guess it just wasn't a necessity um, this whole time I've been doing stuff for the Cummins, and I'm really glad I got one now, because I always love the way they look. And supposedly they do make a difference in spool up and EGTs, so I don't know if we'll see a physical difference or not, but they say it makes a difference. Nonetheless, I know it'll keep our uh, engine bay temps down and it'll look cool, so I'm always cool with the looks. <laughs> but uh, there's also a new intro I've been working on, and I also have another intro that uh, one of the subscribers has worked on. I'll be using them throughout, so let me know if you like the new intro. I know that previously the intros haven't been the best. It's not really my strong suit editing, but I'm doing better. I'm trying to figure out how to bring you guys, excuse me, the best video content I can. So if it's better and you guys like it, let me know in the comments down below as well. If you guys are excited to see the Cummins get some new mods, smack that thumbs up button. And also... <laughs> parts of this video I'm gonna have long hair and the 6.7 power stroke is actually gone now but I'm gonna throw up a little walk around of what it looked like right before I got rid of it so you guys know I guess uh, we actually have another truck right now it's a Cummins which I know you all love but I, as soon as I got it home my buddy was wanting to buy it so I don't know the silver one's pretty much the only one that sticks around and I know you guys are very attached to it and I am as well but I just didn't want you guys to see this intro and then see a video with me having long hair looking shaggy. I think it might <laughs> might mess with your mind a little bit. Just keep that in mind. Let's get home, get on to this video, get on to installing this new mod. And again, please comment down below with some content ideas so I can bring you guys some good content. But let's get to it. I just had to stop and take a minute to show you guys how good the 6.7 looked. My boy over at Budget Bill Lighting killed it on the headlights i'll tag him right now go around here got the new exhaust all done up much better than stock it was already deleted but it had a uh, stock tailpipe so we got new four inch pipe to a five inch tip not obnoxious but it's clean i got a new bumper getting painted for it because that one's pretty well trashed still needs a tent pretty bad but front ends looking good Oof. looking good looking good looking good what you got under here oh some nice powder coat bro why is your turbine housing rusty i know i know that's what we got from jc performance Take a gander at this old rig. It's my first time opening it. I just cut the tape, but I couldn't cut it and film. So I get treats when you review our product. 
That's what I'm doing today. Let's see what's all in here. All right. I've never had one of these or put one on, so I'm not sure what uh, what to expect here. But I'm gonna do it up with you guys first. Sorry if there's wind noise. It is kind of windy out here, and the mic I bought is junk. So I will be buying another one soon enough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I lost our uh, springs there. I'm assuming these just clip on here, I guess. I don't know. We have to figure out our orientation, but let's, uh, let's see here. I would assume it goes like this. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out, and I probably need two hands to get it behind this AC line, so... I'll pick up with you in just a second. Okay, so after a hell fight, finally got that thing in. Um, I'm gonna get up here and give you guys some tips on this. Wait, if you guys buy one, you don't struggle like I did. Basically, this flat side goes up top, and you guys are wanna, gonna wanna wear gloves with this shit, because once it starts to, like especially the inside, the outside is really nice, but the inside, is like pure fiberglass so it when it touches your skin it burns like no other but anyways i pulled the bottom out because there's i don't think you'll be able to see it now but i'm gonna get in here and try to show you there's kind of see it that clip that you put the spring on is completely underneath the turbo and in the down position like my turbo is it is a complete pain in the ass to get to so what I had to do was pull it out until I could see that clip and get the spring started on it. And then I had to hold it with my right hand, push the turbo blanket down until I could grab it through right there with these long pliers. And then I rotated it to where it's supposed to be and then put the first clip on. And definitely do this one first because it would have been way harder to do afterwards but anyways on the back one focus it was super easy you just gotta reach your hand up and around and then hook the bottom lift it up hook the top i had to bend my ac line out even a little more which sketches me out because you can only bend that thing so much for it's gonna come apart but it was hitting it and it made it look really bad but nonetheless now it looks really good so I'm happy with that. I've wanted one of those for so long that I'm really happy I bought that one. Um, quality on this felt really nice. Uh, this, it's not too loose. The springs fit really good. I've heard of some people getting these and the springs not being big enough. So they're a pain in the ass to put on, which that wasn't so much the case here. The reason this was such a pain to put on was because the turbo being in the down position and being a 476, it doesn't leave you much room uh, to work with your hands. But that's not their fault. As far as their quality goes, it's really nice. Sorry, I had an itch. Um, this one, I bought it off Amazon and I will put the link in the description of this video. They have a couple of different options. This is a, their T4 in black. It was like 90 bucks to my door. I got here in like three days. They have a cheaper option than this, and it's just their normal wrap color. I think it's like a, a little more gray than this one. And that one is, I want to say, like 48 bucks. Super good quality for the price. Some of these guys ask like 200 bucks for turbo blankets. And this one had the best reviews on all of Amazon. And I know one guy, Josh McCormick, has a 2,000 horsepower truck, and he runs this. No issues. So really happy with this install. Looks way better. All right, guys, just figured I'd clean it up a little bit in there so you can get an idea. I had a bunch of road grime in it. I had to daily drive this for about two weeks. So, whew, excuse me, got the hiccups. So it got kind of dirty under there, but it's looking much better with that. I think it was JC Performance. Yeah, JC Performance Turbo Blanket. Couldn't be happier with how that came out. I think we need another turbo in here, but nonetheless, <laughs> one thing at a time, guys. And by the way, this uh, 
This is not what I ordered. I ordered a black one with orange. I'd really like to have black and silver, but I don't think they offer that, so that's what we got. As well as that boot that'll be leaving. All right, guys. Lost you there for a second, battery died. Let's go ahead and get a cold start of this old girl. She hasn't been started in about a week. Let it run. Let that turbo blanket soak up some heat. Start trying to form itself. And who doesn't love a good thousand horsepower cold start? Oh, she's a ripper. Starts up purrs just like a kitten. Budget built lighting. Cali off-road, Venom tires. Bog one, eh? My wheels are dirty, so who's gonna polish those ugly things? Those need to go bye bye. Looking good in the neighborhood. But guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Like I said before, the uh, link to that turbo blanket will be in the description below. They have T3, T4, t6 and maybe some other stuff that's the only three sizes i know but they have all those they have a couple different color options this one is specifically is the black option it was like 90 bucks to my door really good quality i'm actually impressed with it and i know it holds up well just because another guy has had it for almost a year and a 2000 horsepower truck so i'm sure it's going to be perfectly fine for us nonetheless guys if you need one go get one if you're new here hit the subscribe button Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Have a great day.